Happy Labor Day, everyone. My name is Jeff Jones. I'll be your spokesman. Uh, we are from theboxmen.com, where we have changed the way that you should watch TV. And in this video, we're going to go over the one secret that will kill all background processes on your devices once and for all. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, I am back, and for the next 8 to 10 minutes, I'm going to do my best to get it in and get to moving on how you can kill all the processes, background processes, by doing this one simple trick. Now, I didn't come up with this by myself. I'm going to put a link uh, to one of the people that I follow. His name is Triple M. Uh, he's been around YouTube for a long time. He's a really uh, great um, person who has been really showing about the boxes, about devices, about fire sticks and computers and everything. The man is very, very knowledgeable. And so it has been in our face for so long, but we never took a, taken a look at it. All right. So let's jump right into the video. Before I finish it, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could give me a thumbs up in this video, it really, really, really helps me with the algorithm of YouTube. And I so appreciate it so much. So let's jump right into the video. Now, before we go to that, and I want to point out, I just did a video about some devices that you would want to purchase because they do updates all the time. Now, this is a Formula Z10 Pro Max. Uh, I don't, I rarely use it anymore because I, you know, I'm doing a lot of videos about its counterpart, the Z11. But you'll notice that you have a software re re update here. You want to always update your software because if you use this, the application will not run or the applications will not run at an optimal level unless you run the software updates. It's just like anything on your phone. It's anything on your laptops or any electrical device that you have. If they have the ability to do regular software updates, please do them. Um, even though you can't roll them back, it's good to have what they currently have. And that way you are running and using something at an optimal level. Now, what we're going to need to do before we do the update is to go to settings here, click the settings wheel. You want to press OK and then you want to go to the device or I want you to go, yes, to device preferences and press OK. Then I want you to go click on about. Now, I am on a formula device, but you can find similar directions or the formulas, whether they be the Chromecast. Uh, I'm not really sure about Fire Stick, but Android, some Android, other Android devices you want to get to where you get the system info, where you can get to about the on 4K Pro, all of that. I'm going to go all the way down where it says the build right here. And I'm going to press this eight times. Now it opens up developer options. And so what we want to do is go into developer options and do a couple of things. All right, let's go to developer options. What you want to do is hit the back key on the remote. That's an arrow key on the left hand side of the remote that always takes you back to the previous page on a formula device after that you want to go down the list here and find developer options that you just unlocked highlight that and press the ok button now you want to always just do a couple of things i'm going to roll it down so we always do this so what you want to do is always unlock usb debugging you want to press ok the next thing you want to do is just keep on going down until you see the top three things with the animation scales and the duration scale. So you want to change this from one time to 0.5, go down each one to turn it to 0.5, and that just makes everything a bit snappier when you go through the, the list there. So that all set. Let's continue on our list until we find something with background here. So we're going to keep going down. There's so many things here that I don't know about, and I'm always looking on what these things mean because it matters to me, and that's just something. So here we are here, and what, he, what I found was and what I found out is you don't want to keep activity. So it destroys every activity as soon as the user leaves it. What happens is when you click on something and you don't have this turned on, then it leaves the activity open. So if you click on an app, then it should be turned off. Okay, so if you turn this on, that should help out a lot. 
The second one would be the main one, the background process list, okay? There's different limits. You have standard limit. You have no background processes, right? At almost one process, at almost two processes, at, al at most three, at most four. So at most one, two, three, or four, the standard limit. You can always turn on back, no background process at all. And with that, you can begin to test what that looks like, whether you what standard looks like, and then also I know what standard looks like, and then I know all I don't know really until recently what no background processes look like. That works for me so far. It has been wonderful on my Z11 Pro Max, but because I'm on the Z10 Pro Max, I haven't used this in a while, so I'm going to turn this on like my Z11 which is under maintenance right now, Pro Max. But these are the two things, the secret way to get rid of processes in the back. Now, you can always come back and turn it to at, at most four, so you don't have any more than four. But when you, you should know, or if you don't know, or if you're new, hopefully this information that I'm about to share with you should bring you a, a little bit of comfort if you didn't know. So in other words, background processes, that simply means that if you're running different ads or apps, some of them stay open all the time. So you'll see right now that I have two things, more than two things, if I go through. These things are, are running in the background right now. I haven't used this in so long. So if, to get to this spot here, what you do is you get to the home page here. You press the home button on the remote control of the formula twice. One, two. It's going to open the apps that are running in the background. Now, some apps will get rid of right away by pressing that red button on your remote, which I can do right now. And then some will stay there. And those that are very persistent with that setting that we were just at in developer options, I'm going to go back to device preferences. I'm going to go back to developer options, press OK. I'm going to go all the way down. Let me go all the way down, layout. No, 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 no. Here we are, right? We're coming up right now. Right here. So as long as we got no background process lim limit, then we shouldn't have any background processes. Now, I, it's worked on my Z11 Pro Max. I want you to try it to let me know if it works on your formulas and even on your devices because all developer options are the same. Whether you have an NVIDIA Shield, whether you have um, a, a Fire Stick, a Chromecast, uh, a 4K on, on 4K Pro, a Mi Cool, every Android device gives you the ability to unlock developer options. So do yourself a favor and me too, do this to your device and let me know how it runs by commenting below. I wanted to share this with you. I look forward to, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to go ahead and close out the video and wish you guys a great Labor Day weekend here. It's really cool and I'm, I'm really happy to be with you guys. Um, again, when you have a software update, make sure you do the software updates on devices that have them because this will keep it running at an optimal level as you see me doing mine right now. And the reason I do that, you can see that this, if I go all the way to the bottom here, I think it's going to go May 10th, 2024. This is what it's going to put on the release notes. So it's going to enable auto frame rate for live TV, VOD and TV series. It fix no audio certain channels, fix unrecognized input exception error, fix empty groups error and edit groups, bug fixes, optimizations and performance enhancements. If you have dev a device that does this, please, please, please do yourself a favor and do the software updates. I'm going to go ahead and close out the video as I do my software update. I practice what I preach to the best of my ability. Hey, thank you so much for giving me the thumbs up in this rel relatively short video. Check it out and let me know what your thoughts are. I, am, I want to know if it works for you on how to get rid of those processes because if they stay open, you're going to experience buffering and stuttering and things of that nature. With that said, have a great holiday. Don't eat too much and we'll see you tomorrow in my brand new.